Today's scripture is James chapter 3, verses 9 through 12. And James, in this passage, is talking about the dangers of using the tongue in a way that does not honor God. In verse 9, James says, With the tongue, therewith bless we God, even the Father, and therewith we curse men, which are made after the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceedeth blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. And then James asks two very important rhetorical questions in verses 11 and 12. He says, Does a fountain send forth at the same time sweet water and bitter? And then verse 12 he asks, Can a fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries, either a vine, figs? Well, the answer to both of those questions is simply no. And he answers these questions by saying this, so can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh. What he's really getting at here is the issue of hypocrisy. He's saying if you want to bless God with your speech, that's great, but don't bless him one second and then curse people out the next. We should not use the same instrument or the same mouth to praise God one moment and then curse people the next. He says in verse 10, out of the same mouth proceeds cursing and blessing. These things should not be. However, as a professional educator of almost 30 years, I see this all the time. Young people say they go to church and are a part of a youth group, but yet they cuss every other word. And they talk about things they do on the weekend that are not reflective of God's character. James is condemning such lifestyles and behavior choices. He's saying, if you are going to boast and say that you are a believer in Jesus Christ, then your actions ought to line up with your confession. He says, even within nature, no fountain can bring forth salt water and fresh water at the same time. Therefore, for a believer, a godly lifestyle and a worldly lifestyle do not mix. So if you're going to say you're a believer in Jesus Christ, you need to leave the worldly lifestyle behind you. That's simply the truth of what James is teaching here. I am Pastor John, creating community by sharing scripture. God bless. Rotate.